Brohim, she dudes, it is your boy Coop, and we are checking out some crazy bombshells from the Forsaken DLC. We, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. So not since Neo discovered the Matrix have we ever had such crazy information coming our way, guys. Okay? First we got Cade. He's sitting there, being hardcore, then he gets shot in the face. And guess what else? If enemies can just shoot a ghost and kill it, then why isn't Osiris' ghost dead? That's what I would like to know, A. And B, why in the Crucible are we just not running around shooting everybody's ghost and then everything's kind of like competitive? They won't get any more reses. That just seems like a much better idea. Why hasn't this been happening all along? It's a great way to beat a guardian because they have a little floating box next to them that if you shoot it, they can't come back alive. Hmm. Anyways, whatever. Doesn't matter. The point of this video is to show the clear connections between Prince Aldrin and the undead zombie army that he has created and Nacris. We find Prince Aldrin's ship on Mars. His ship has crashed on Mars and this is the second damn time he crashed his ship. I will have you know. The first time was like about you know, the distance of America to South America away, a different location on Mars. So that means he repaired his ship, flew over there, and crashed again. Which means from the two times that we see, one in a video clip and one in Grimoire of him flying, he's crashed both times. <sighs> That's bad driving, man. That's out of control. He needs a ticket. He needs to not be allowed to drive. In fact, had the police been doing their job, none of this probably would have happened with Cade to begin with. He should have had his license revoked. Moving on past that, guys. Moving on past it. What I'd like to say is, Nocris was a necromancer. It means he could revive a dead hive. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, why is Aldrin on Mars if not to meet Nocris? Maybe he was there to meet, you know, Rasputin and have a little some shots of vodka and, you know, eat fish eyes, whatever Russian people do. I don't know. Maybe that's what he was there for, but I doubt it. In fact, I think he was there to find out some of the secrets of reanimating the dead because he's just so happened to discover the secrets and Nocris is the only necromancer that we know about in Destiny. Is this seeming a little like coincidence to you guys? I think not. Uh, I shan't not say. I shan't. Not I shan. I shan't. I shan't say that this is coincidence. In fact, I know it is not. It makes no sense for him to be there for any other reason except for to discover the secrets of this, um, and in fact, not just of necromancy. He's, he's known secrets all along. He has these crow drones that go out and they've pretty much saturated the solar system. They bring him back into everything. That's why he knew where the Black Garden was. He knew how to get to the heart of the Black Garden, which was this weird vex thing that was using the darkness in order to, uh, or the Traveler's Light and using darkness to contaminate it, to gain all this power, and it could have brought about the end of mankind. So, Prince Aldrin knows about this shady, sneaky, creepy stuff, okay? So, for us to pretend like he wouldn't know who Nocris was, or that he was a necromancer, would be dumb, especially because his crows probably said, hey dude, there's a gigantic, long, like, oryx wiener hidden in the ice, like, just a couple kilometers that way. And he'd be like, what? And be like, yeah, it's oryx's wiener. It's huge, it crawls around, it's called Zol. That probably is exactly the conversation that happened. So, my point being, he went there to meet with Nocris, or to at least gain some of the power, and we also have to think about the time we're arriving on Mars and the Warmind DLC. Nocris and Zol have suddenly just been freed from the ice after all these centuries, right? How did that happen? Rasputin farted, melt the ice? I don't think so. I don't think that's what happened, guys. I think what happened was Aldrin showed up, you know, made a little deal. Give me a little something, I'll give you a little something. Now he was able to reanimate his undead army, bring all these zombies up in the Forsaken DLC and try to wipe out the Guardians. I think it's a good theory. If you don't think it's a good theory, you know, go watch PewDiePie. Isn't that what he does? Claps, make the lights turn off? Hmm. Anyways, guys. Those are my thoughts on this. It's just a quick, fun little lore video of possibilities going down, left, right, up, down. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will be back with another video later this afternoon. It's going to be a review. Be sure you guys check that out. Peace.